Welcome to another Division video. It's been a while, but we're back with some exciting news, and you probably have already heard about it, but we're going in-depth with the classified gear that they will add in 1.7. In this video we'll explain what classified gear is, how it affects your stats, the different set bonuses for all the gear sets that we know of, and how to earn it. Let's start with taking a look at what the classified gear is and what it does. Classified gear offers an opportunity to extend the stats of your build in a seamless flow. It will come with higher statistics and with 5 and 6 piece bonuses. The gear score of these items remains at 256 and the armor doesn't change either. The main stats, meaning the firearms, stamina and electronics now will roll between 1274 and 1401, which is a considerable increase. This not only means that classified gear will always be better than your previous gear, but also you have to spec less into certain aspects to reach the caps for, let's say, certain weapon talents. The other two main stats will reside at 334. The major and minor attributes remain the same, but the gear set bonuses have new additions. These additions are the 5 and 6 piece bonuses. The 5 piece bonus buffs the 2 and 3 piece bonuses within its set. The 6 piece bonus will be a natural evolution of the existing identity of that gear set and is meant to motivate players to invest completely in a certain gear set. Anyway, let's get into the gear sets themselves. We'll start with Deadeye. The 5 piece bonus increases the initial bullet stability by 40% and the marksman rifle critical hit damage by 20%. The 6 piece bonus adds the improved Deadeye talent. When zoomed, getting a headshot kill with the marksman rifles will increase critical hit damage by 20% every second to a maximum of 100%. And it also will increase the stability by 100%. This lasts for 10 seconds or when you are no longer zoomed. Next up is final measure. Its 5 piece increases the exotic damage resilience up to 15% and protection from elites also up to 15%. Its 6 piece adds the improved final measure talent. When a grenade is defused, the player and all group members within 30 meters gain a buff based on the grenade type that was defused. EMP or shock grenades increase the skill power by 15%. The frag and incendiary grenades increase the weapon damage by 15% and the flashbang or tear gas increase the armor by 15%. These bonuses last for 8 seconds. Moving on we have Lone Star. The 5 piece bonus increases your ammo capacity by 50% and your light machine gun and shotgun damage by 8%. The 6 piece bonus is currently unknown for the Lone Star gear set. Following this is the Reclaimer gear set. The 5 piece bonus increases the support station range by 15% and its duration by 25%. The 6 piece bonus increases the support station revive speed by 50%, increases the healing speed by 100% and it increases the support station health by 100% as well. Besides this it adds the improved Reclaimer talent. The support station gains a 25% chance to have no cooldown triggered when it is destroyed by an enemy. This chance is increased by 2% for every 1000 electronics you have. Next to this we have Sentry's Call. Its 5 piece increases the weapon accuracy by 15% and headshot damage by 15% also. Its 6 piece adds the improved Sentry's Call talent. NPC targets can now receive up to 6 marks. After 3 marks, every headshot on the target has a 25% chance to spread a single mark to additional targets within 10 meters. At 6 marks, your headshot damage on the target is increased by 100%. Moving on to Striker's Battle Gear. Its 5 piece bonus increases the weapon stability by 10% and the enemy armor damage by 5%. The 6 piece bonus adds the Striker's Persistence Talent. Every hit adds a self-healing bonus for 0.1% of your maximum health per second. This bonus is further increased by 0.01% for every 1000 stamina you have. 
it stacks up to 100 hits, the bonus is reduced by 0.1 every second, or it can be completely removed by an EMP. These are the gear sets that are currently known. Once the other gear set pieces, 5 and 6 piece bonuses are known, we'll cover that as well. But anyway, let's move on to how you can unlock it. Classified gear is introduced as part of a global event. Throughout a global event, players can use their earned global event tokens to purchase global event caches. These caches have different rarities. The higher the price, the higher the chance of receiving a classified gear piece. Keep in mind that each global event only allows for three classified gear sets. Once the global event ends, after a week, the classified gear will still be available to drop within the common loot pool, but only with the drop chance of an exotic item. Since the classified gear is pretty rare, you are able to recalibrate two stats on a single gear piece. And that's actually it for the classified gear. Like we said, we'll show you the other gear sets once we know more about them. Uh, for now, we simply can't. Anyways, we want to thank you for watching. Ratings, good or bad, always help us out a lot. Please give us some feedback on what we did well and what we can do better. All of the information that's used in this video is linked in the description. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section down below. And we'll make sure to answer them. Have an awesome day and hopefully see you next time. Laters.